Hey guys, it's Alex, uh, and today I'm going to do an art assignment. Ah! So, the art assignment I'm going to do is the one about the rug. I forget the artist's name. I just had it pulled up to look at the instructions, but I forgot his name. I'm sorry. So anyways, just over two years ago, I got this job at a t-shirt screen printer here in Columbus, and uh, it was a big deal at the time. It was like my first job where I was like never going to go back to retail and all that and it had you know it was full time and it had benefits and all that stuff and I was kind of miserable at it because it was a, not a climate controlled space so it got very sweaty and or very cold when it got to be winter time. I was only there eight months before I got laid off which sucked a lot and uh, this is a story all about how my life got flipped turned upside down. When I worked there uh, you got to go through like scrap shirts and stuff like that to you know have things to wear while you were at work because you got very dirty and sweaty and smelly and covered in screen printing ink and all that kind of stuff so I collected a lot of junky shirt bad prints would get tossed into the scrap pile and that sort of thing and so I've got this big box of old junky shirts some that I got from the scrap pile and some were old t-shirts that I had so, for the last year and a half, this box has laid at the bottom of my closet, just hanging out, taunting me as a bleak reminder of what I once had. So I'm going to be making my t-shirt rug out of those shirts. So here we're going to go into my bedroom, where I have the shirts in my closet. And there they are. I'm going to go through these shirts, and I'm going to keep some of them for like, um, exercising and cleaning and stuff like that, but I'm probably going to turn most of them into strips of t-shirt for the rug. The box of t-shirts, pre-sorting. Here's a fun thing that I just found. This was a t-shirt that I screen printed myself when I was in high school in art class. Um, I designed this little graphic myself, and the quote on there is from my favorite song, which is Light Up My Room by Bare Naked Ladies. Very romantic and pretty song. Um, and this t-shirt is an old navy t-shirt that I've had since I was, you know, I don't know, I might have even gotten this t-shirt in uh, in middle school, junior high. I've had it for a very long time. It was my favorite t-shirt for a long time, and that's why I screen printed on it, because I wanted my favorite song on my favorite shirt. And uh, this has just been in various dresser drawers for the last 10 years. It's kind of wild, but now it's going to go into my rug. Okay, box is now empty. There's four t-shirts in the keep pile and the rest of that is turning into a rug let's do this here's some of the cut up shirts i think a color scheme is starting to emerge <laughs> i think i'm probably gonna end up doing like an ombre kind of thing where it goes from blacks and through the blues and up through the uh the grays and whites it's gonna be pretty cool all right i finished off the white shirts and uh now i'm getting into the gray ones this is gonna be like really gigantic and lumpy, isn't it? <laughs> I've still got about like three or four shirts worth of gray to get through and then I'm gonna be moving on to the blue. Um, I'll probably show you guys how I did the, the joins between the t-shirts here in a second. All right, so we're gonna try, I'm gonna try to show you how I did the joins between each um, t-shirt. Maybe it can help someone else making their own. So first I've got the, the rug and um, this is the end of the last piece that, of the last shirt that I used. This is an old tank top. Um, so what I did was you take your end and you cut a little hole in it. Now you've stretched it out a bit. So you got a hole in there. And so you're gonna take the, the end of your next one, the next shirt, uh, find the end. And you're going to also cut a hole In that like this so you want to pull the whole of the new piece through the old one like that and then you're gonna find the end of your new piece and pull that all the way through its own hole so you're kind of creating a slip knot around the new one so here are the ends. The colors are kind of similar, so sorry if it's hard to see, but then you just pull the ends together like that. And it makes pretty seamless and it's easy. It's better than uh, knotting them together. It's a little more uh, hideable. So hopefully that helps other people. That's how I did it. 
And there it is! It's finished! From when I started with all the white, and there were so many, and it was so big, I had... I expected this to turn out like a giant, gigantic rug thing, but, uh... This is a pretty good size. I could probably, like, put it on my bedroom floor, or maybe... Out in the kitchen or something. I don't know what I'll do with it. I may just burn it. Ugh, okay, this is kind of uncomfortable, so I don't think I'll be sleeping on it anytime soon, but... Yep, here is my rug! Um, I guess this was kind of fun. Fun way to spend a couple hours in the afternoon and also clean out my, uh, my old box of work shirts. So yeah.